Alright guys, check this out. Hey guys, before we get into the video, I just want to quickly shout out my second channel, Heisman Gameplay. Uh, today, right before I uploaded this, I uploaded a video on that channel. It was one of the most intense, crazy games of Lee Sin in my entire eight years of playing this game. Um, it was a taken from my stream yesterday in a solo queue game in mid-diamond. It was absolutely nuts. And on that channel, I'm going to be uploading full gameplays every single day, not just Lee Sin. But again, if you go down in the description and go click on that link and sub to my second channel, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. But let's get into the video now because that is what you are here to see. That's why you clicked on today's video. So without further ado, let's check it out. Uh, so today I have yet another Leeson mechanic to show you guys. This was actually discovered by the Chinese player uh, over on Edward Leo's channel, Shen Shan. Yet again, another mechanic discovered by him. So props to him, shout out to him for discovering this. This is actually pretty damn cool. It's a new one. Does it have practical use? Maybe. I would say it's kind of on par with the ghost kick where it's like very situational, but it's definitely, definitely a good mechanic. And I'm honestly not sure if it's intended to be in the game or not. Um, I, it almost feels like a glitch since I've tried it in practice tool. But what is the mechanic? So let's get into what the mechanic is. But before I show you, let's go take a look at Edwin Leo's video where he showcases this new mechanic and give him credit where credit's due. So Edwin Leo, his channel, his video link is down in the description. But um, let's check this out. So here is the video that Edwin Leo, Edwin Leo posted on February 13th. Uh, so this was a couple of days ago. Um, but it's called, I found a new Lee Sin combo trick. Not too useful. Let's see what he's got. So it just kind of breaks it down so you guys can see it in slow motion. It's a, a, a new input buffer. So that's the standard insect where you can W midair. You don't have to wait for the Q. That's all he's saying there. And then he also shows the ghost kick, which is another mechanic that we discovered or he discovered um, not too long ago. But basically he's saying that you can do it without using Q basically. Very interesting stuff. So there's actually a couple parts to this mechanic that you guys, I'll go over after we watch this. So <laughs> this is the drive-by insect. I'm glad he used my terminology for that. Whew, that's so clean. He's so clean at the fancy drive-by. But now what can we do with this without ward hopping? So that is kind of uh, the big thing about this mechanic is that it does involve Lee Sin's E. Um, and let's go over it. Let's go over it now. So uh, let's jump into practice tool and actually go over uh, this personally and try to explain a little bit better and also see if I can pick up on it. I just want to kind of reiterate what he was talking about in case any of you are still confused. Um, so basically we all know that, or I shouldn't say we all know, but we've discovered in the past that if you cancel your Q midair with W, um, or I'm sorry, if you cancel your W midair with the second part of your Q, it allows you to use you, both your E and your ultimate midair to make a play. So for example, let's go over that, an old mechanic like that. That is the drive-by. It allows you to cast midair. Now, I was under the impression that it had to be done with your ward hop. Um, but it doesn't. It can actually be canceled through your E as well as your W. Um, so let's take a look at what that looks like. As you can see, I did not use my W at all. I simply landed my Q on this dummy here, um, and then I used the second part of my E, uh, my cripple on this target dummy right here, 
and then canceled the animation of my cripple with my second part of my key the same way you would do with the drive-by and allowed me to R midair without using flash, without using W. So one more time. This is actually, in my opinion, the most useful aspect of this mechanic, but it doesn't stop there. So your E can actually be used to cancel uh, your ward hop as well. So your E, pretty much all your abilities can cancel each other's um, animation. So for example, let's say you want to do a ward hop kick, but you want to do it a little bit faster or his example is over the wall, but let's just do it right here. There, I did it. That actually took a while. So it's not, um, I, this is why I think it might be a little bit of a glitch because when you do the, the W ward hop cancel, it, 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 it doesn't matter how fast you do it or how slow you do it. As long as you cancel midair, it allows you to cast midair. But with this one, like, it seems like there's a really important window that you have to get the animation cancel off or it won't work. If I do it too fast, it doesn't work. If I do it too slow, it doesn't work. I have to do it very, very fast. And I know you probably couldn't tell the difference between those kicks, but there was actually a difference. So let, let me do it over the wall to give you a better um, idea, kind of like what he did in the video, a better idea of how to actually do it. See, I ended up Wing to the ward and kicking him over the wall. Now, if the dummy was there normally, and I just wanted to do a normal ward hop kick, doesn't work, right? I'm, you can't kick over this wall, right? So if I try to insect, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna let me kick. I'm out of kick range. Right here, out of kick range. However, if we cancel our E like we showed in the example in his video, you will see that you can kick and ward hop over the wall at the same time like such. A personal use that I've just thought of myself that would be really good for this mechanic is instead of doing the quick sec, which is like this, um, if you guys don't understand what the quick sec actually accomplishes, the quick sec allows you to um, insect someone a lot faster without them reacting. Uh, it allows you to kick flash midair, so it's just quicker. Um, you could do the same thing as the quick sec, but without having to waste your W, because a lot of times when go for an insect, you want to be able to W back out, right? So using the quick sec while it's quicker, it doesn't give you your W to get back out because you used it as part of the combo. So think about it this way. This is almost a better way of doing the quick sec. It can cancel your kick flash uh, animation midair, um, or you can do your kick flash animation midair just like you do with the quick sec, but without wasting your W. I think that is potentially the biggest practical use of this um, mechanic. And it's actually quite easy when you think about it. Let's say you uh, are going for a mid gank, right? There's probably going to be a minion wave in the mid lane. So let's say this is a minion. You land your key on the mid laner. You go up, hit your E, cancel it. Bam. Fastest insect possible, just like the quick sec. Wow, I love this mechanic. So this is honestly um, something that I think is not intended to be in the game. There's no, I mean, maybe it is. And honestly, if this was all intended to be in the game, then props to the designer of Lee Sin. I mean, already props to him because this champion is brilliant. It's the best champion in the game, 100%, not even a question, no debate. But all of this extra stuff that we keep finding, that people keep finding, is, it's almost genius. It, it, it puts so much um, outplay potential on an already through the roof outplay potential champion. Collectively, these mechanics um, have really changed the game for Lee Sin, uh, for the content here on YouTube, um, for the skill ceiling of this champion. And I don't know if it's gonna ever end. I honestly don't know if we'll ever stop finding new mechanics for this champion. And I actually, I hope to one day find another mechanic myself but that does wrap up today's video i hope you guys learned something i hope i explained it well i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys aren't already subbed to this channel i would greatly appreciate it if you could just hit that sub button it takes two seconds ring the bell notification so you actually get notified when i upload a video um, again i want to shout out my second channel i just uploaded right before this video one of the most epic games um, of my solo queue career um, on lee sin 
that was taken from my stream yesterday. It was absolutely nuts. I wouldn't play it up. I wouldn't have uploaded it if it wasn't such an epic game. So if you want to watch that and then sub to that channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, that's Heisman Gameplay. It's down in the description. Beyond that, though, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.